some enchanted evening you will see a stranger <laughs> that stranger's me this is the enchanted evening hey welcome to the man cave here at wistful vistas in beautiful suburban san diego california it is evening uh something i don't often do is do a vlog from the man cave in the evening i prefer daylight hours thank you very much uh, but uh, today it just seemed appropriate I have a chance to do a couple things and we are going away for a little bit of a uh, of a uh, trip and won't be around for a while so I want to get a few things into the can so to speak number one thing is to talk about this magnificent helmet uh, I've shared the unboxing of it and the fact that I had purchased it and uh, also oops, sorry also the mounting of the Cardo Freecom unit on it. And I've now had the chance to ride it a couple of times and impressions are very, very favorable. The uh, feel of the materials in the interior is great. It's a very quiet helmet. Let me get a little closer for you here. See, we've got a uh, chin curtain here and this uh, surround area around your head really insulates and keeps the road noise out. Very quiet helmet, very stable in wind. So I'm really liking it. Uh, and I've ridden it with both the tall windshield as provided by Scott Paccioni from the Touring Tuono line, as well as the shorter windscreen, the OEM windscreen. So it's, it's quite stable. I like it, super lightweight. So as I say, impressions are favorable. The one thing that I'll need to wait till we get into a little bit of warmer weather. I've ridden it in warm, cool, and cold weather. Have not ridden it on a San Diego summer day. So I'll have to wait till that time to report on how well it ventilates. But it seems to vent well for cool days anyway. But uh, like I say, so far, very favorably impressed. Now, many of you may know that uh, I have the helmet that I normally vlog with, which is the Shoei X14. And if there was ever a misuse of a magnificent piece of gear, it's using this helmet to vlog, hanging this big uh, mount off the front end to put a GoPro camera on. But that's what I do. And <laughs> I have the setup where it's working reasonably well at this stage. Uh, and, but the thing that bugs me is, is more or less permanently attaching this uh, front mount for the GoPro. Not crazy about that. It just seems like, <laughs> seems like you take a magnificent helmet, beautiful piece of uh, gear, and you hang that uh, big hunk of plastic off the side of it. Have that issue with the uh, cargo unit hanging on the side, but at least that's there. So I was recently visited by Alby of Alby's ADV. I'll post a link down below and we talked about a lot of subjects. Some of them you'll see in upcoming uh, video logs, but um, one of the things he had with him was a mount, a clipper mount it's called, by a company called Dango Design, D-A-N-G-O Designs. I got this one on Amazon rather inexpensively. I'll post the price, I don't recall. I'm gonna. No, I just don't recall. I'll post the price. And uh, what this allows one to do is uh, take this uh, clip part and mount it on the front of a helmet without the need for permanent gluing. So right here in this vlog at this time, I'm going to take this off the backing plate and show you how it goes on to the helmet and how I'll use it with our good buddy, the uh, AGV K6 helmet. Stand by, be right back. So here it is, the Dango uh, clip-on helmet mount. Here is, as we say in the USA, the whole shebang. <laughs> and what you get is the clip-on mount itself, which clips onto the helmet like this. You get, uh, of course, the uh, male uh, backing screw for holding the GoPro onto the camera. And the way that it works, I don't know if this is going to show up, um, but the way that it works, uh, I can remove this uh, chin curtain. A little worried about that because if I remove the chin curtain, I'm going to get more uh, wind noise up under there. And then I put this on the front of the helmet. 
Well, not exactly like that. I'll have to have two hands to do it right. But uh, something like that. It'll, it'll go up further on the helmet and look nicer. But that's the way it mounts. And again, my hope here is that I don't have to glue a camera mount on the front of the K6. It's got all these little uh, rubber baby buggy bumpers in here so that it should grip the helmet uh, fairly well when I, when I get it put on there. Uh, I do have a shoulder mount and I do have a chest mount that I can use uh, to vlog as well. I haven't used them in quite a while. I've been using that uh, Shoei um, X14 helmet and uh, that uh, I could use those as well to do some vlogging but that uh, that helmet mount rider's point of view seems to be what people really enjoy having so I'm going to uh, I won't be doing it for a couple of weeks because as I say we're going to be moving along for a bit but uh, I will be trying that out and I want to give Albie a great shout out and a thanks for uh, finding that particular piece of gear for me I'll put the link to where you can uh, get it but uh, we'll just close this particular segment by saying highly impressed with this K6 helmet. Uh, the, the weight of it is just uh, really, really nice. So highly impressed, uh, working well so far. When I come back, we'll actually get out on the bike and do some vlogs with it. Hey, hope you're having a great March and uh, April, I will be back to you and we'll talk about uh, how some of these details work out. See you later.